Hi folks, I'm Mary with Oakland County Parks and Recreation's Nature Education Team. Each week we're going to be releasing a video, craft, and activity on a nature topic. This week we're talking about songbirds with Miss Melissa and myself. Let's fly! So you're probably wondering, what is a songbird? If you look back to one of our prior videos about attracting birds to your yard, you'll see that many of the birds we featured in that video are considered songbirds. The scientific definition of a songbird is a bird that falls within the taxonomic order Passiformes. Next, we're going to see a few examples of songbirds and learn the mnemonic device to remember their calls. So this is a red-winged blackbird and it's a dichromatic species, which means the male, which the species is named for with its red wings here, and the female look very different. The red-winged blackbird's call goes conquery, conquery. Though when I was a child and I didn't know that's what other people were saying, I used to think potpourri, potpourri. <laughs> So this is a black cap chickadee, a common bird you'll see year round. His call, he's got a couple of different ones. Um, the one we hear most common goes chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee. But he also makes a call uh, to establish a breeding territory. And you'll hear it in the springtime or when it's still winter. Where's spring? Where's spring? And then you'll also hear, sometimes people say, it sounds like cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Next, we have a blue jay, and they are a monochromatic species, which means that both males and females have the same type of coloring. You'll see them all over the place. They make a couple of different sounds. Um, the one people think of most often is their J, J, J call. But sometimes they can also be heard saying, Queedle, Queedle, Queedle. Here's another species that you'll probably recognize, our Northern Cardinal. They're also a diachromatic species. The female is gray, but she does have a touch of red on her crest. They're known for their numerous calls, um, but the ones that you'll hear often are cheer, 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 or purdy, purdy, purdy but they also make an alarm call or and just like a feeding call where they go tink, tink, tink. Another crowd favorite are American Robin. Um, they have a call that goes cheer up, cheery, cheerio, whiny. Have one that you may or may not recognize. It's called a tufted titmouse and it does have a crest that it can raise sort of like the uh, cardinal um, and he has a call that goes chiva chiva cheetah furred up furred up furred up and he can also say here 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 peter 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 here is a gray catbird and it's in the mockingbird family which is funny because a lot of people think it's mocking them when it makes its call which sounds like a cat and it can say Meow! or man after this video if you decide that you really like listening to and identifying birds we have some resources for you um, that Melissa is going to share with you next on how to learn more about bird calls and IDing when you're out in nature. Hello everyone, I'm Melissa and I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the resources that are available if you'd like to further your knowledge about um, birds and their calls. The first one is the Audubon Society. Their website is audubon.org. They, uh, the society works towards conservation of birds around the world. Their site has great photos and a lot of learning tools that you are able to use 
to help you in identification of other species. If you're interested in um, going out on some field training and things like that, there is a local chapter of the Audubon Society um, here in Oakland County. It's the Oakland Audubon Club and their website is oaklandaudubon.org. Another great resource to help you on your birding adventure is the Cornell University site allaboutbirds.org. This site has a lot of information on um, IDing birds, helping with the bird calls, but there's also fun activities, games, and curriculum for kids of all ages. Okay, so when you're ready to go out and do some IDing on the go, there are some really good apps that you can download to your phone to help you out. Um, the first one is Merlin. It is a free app through the Cornell University website that has a taxono taxonomic ID key and bird calls that will help you while you are out on your nature walk. Um, the other one is eBird. eBird is a list that you will enter everything that you've seen for that day into your list and it keeps a lifelong list for you of what you've seen in nature. Thank you for joining us. Please feel free to post any of your fun bird sightings or songs that you hear while out on your nature walks. Please check our social media for any upcoming um, events or programs that we might be having. And also check out our website for nature center and park hours, um, amenities, and programs. Thank you and we will see you next time.